pinagsa-picture niya ng mga palo and mga jump serves niya. Kailangan na kailangan niya talaga 100% yung kanyang likod. We are ready for set number one. Maraming salamat mga kapuso sa inyong panonood. Anton Rojas together with Cara Acevedo Ong. And later on at courtside, you will be hearing from Mickey Santos for all the updates regarding both teams. And it will be Kat Molina, the converted setter, who will start things off. By the way, maraming salamat din sa lahat ng mga nanonood all over social media on Facebook and YouTube via NSA Philippines. And for the latest with regards to all things sports, do follow GMA Sports PH on Facebook and X. Here we go. Imagine you're Kat Molina, POV, and you are facing not just Arellano, but this roaring crowd. Oh, grabe yung support today. <laughs> ng Jeeps, uh, talagang all out, but Angel Habakon already starting the game that way, facing the crowd. <laughs> Angel Habakon has got the puka shells on, she's got her arm sleeves, and she's got the elevation to break down the wall for the first point for the Lady Red Spikers. And most importantly is the smile, Kara. Oh, oh. <laughs> we really want that. Uh, Siyempre, maganda yung demeanor. Mag-start ka ng game ng ganun, di ba? De Guzman. Long hit to the back. Habakon. Popped up by Pablo. Here's the toss. Dodi Batindan. Wow, it is deafening right now here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Kaka-start pa lang ng game eh. Pero parang Dodi. nasa doon na Pero yan, siyempre, you know, as a player, yan yung gusto mo eh. Madaming support sa likod mo. Kahit nasimula pa lang, sana makip up nila yung energy na yan until the end of this match. Yung mga sigaw na mga estudyante, tumatagos sa earphones natin, kare. Hindi <laughs> na tayo nagkakainig. <laughs> Donna Paralejas. Sharp serve, Molina. Setting it up for Angel. Wow. Did you see yung, uh, yung elevation ni Angel for that uh, hit? Nakita pa natin na uh, inanggulo pa niya yung katawan niya last minute. Oh. Down the line there for Angel Habakon. Unfazed by this crowd. She's just having fun. I think she is even more pumped up to play with the crowd. <laughs> she tried to uh, target that spot again, but this time going wide with that serve. There is new head coach, Edgar Paroga. I don't see Kyra at the back of the bench yet though. Mamaya, maybe she might make an appearance. Oh, napaka-supportive. <laughs> Alam natin, napaka-supportive ni Kyra dito sa San Beda. Back set. Nothing there for Abraham. Paralejas to the Guzman. Magaling! Scores for Arellano. Parang home court ng Arellano. Oh. Eh. <laughs> Despite the double block magaling, looking for that empty spot. This is amazing. Padillon gets it in. Habakon passes it to Kat Molina. And a point. Sophie Kagalawan. Sophie Kagalawan. Rookie open spiker. Sabi nga natin ganina, madaming rookies tong San Beda and uh, definitely all of them are, you know, players to watch out for. This is the start of what is usually a three-year program for a new coach. And Coach Edgar will be learning and the players, his players will be growing as they go along. Oh, definitely. Oh. It's very, yun nga, yung pag nagsisimula ng bagong sistema and you see the progress of the team, yun yung maganda eh. Diba? And may kita natin yun sa level of play ng mga players. But it does, Arellano team captain overshoots that one. Nagpalitan ng service error. And yun nga, so far palitan din tayo ng points and uh, we're now tied at four. Lane Abraham, one of the few sophomores, three sophomores to be exact, here on the San Beda side, running attack. Oh, clean. <laughs> and the roar from the Lady Chiefs, they're really enjoying this crowd. 
Let's take ah, a look at it. talaga sila eh. Oh. Paralehas to Robbie Matawaran. On the run. Oh, yes. Ganda nung uh, hit. Clean hit from Matawaran. There's four-time NCAA champion coach Obet Javier looking on. This is going to be a free ball for the Lady Chiefs. Donna. Matawaran again. Blocker was there. Magaling popped up. Molina. Donna. Robbie. Regalo para kay Dela Cruz. What a rally. Ganda nung depensa ng both squads there. But Dela Cruz making sure na hindi na matutuloy pa ang rally. Naabot pa yun ni Donna Paralejas. It turned into a joust. But Dela Cruz with the height to win that battle. Paralejas. Magalin gets roofed. That's a blood boy. Another one for San Beda. This time, ang ganda nung blocking. Tinan mo, dikit na dikit sila dito covering the area kung saan pwedeng pumalo itong si Magalin. You just love to see the smiles and the joy in the faces of these young ladies as they are performing here in this match. Habakwa changing things up. Molina trying to find the open spot, but Pablo was there. Pablo doing a great job sweeping in the back. But Angel Habakon has variety. What a set from Molina as well. That was a, a sharp set that we see here. You know, medyo mababa, mabilis, and Angel Habakon spiking it even faster down the line. I love that angle on the shot of how she was just walking, <laughs> pretending she wasn't gonna do anything, and then all of a sudden, she was striking. Pero may sagot ang Arellano. But Alejas uh, has great confidence in uh, Robbie Matawaran today. I think pang ilang running hit dun yan, and uh, nakakailan na itong si Matawaran. It's nice to see Arellano activating their middle blockers getting them involved early in this match. Molina to Habakon. Cross court wow. for the kill. <laughs> San Pera with an early 8-6 to six lead as we enter this technical timeout. Mickey Santos will be reporting for us when we return right here on GTV. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong... We're back here at the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Two young teams segregated with the rookie players battle it out to add another win to their standings. Alam mo, Anton and Cara, tinanong ko nga ang fearless forecast ng dalawang coaches and surprisingly, magkaiba ang gusto nilang mangyayari for this game because uh, for the Arellano Lady Chiefs, the coach Obed is looking to end the game quickly with three straight sets as uh, Doni Batinda and it comes in after sitting out on their last game against LPU due to a minor ankle injury. Kailangan lang daw makita ni coach ang gigil sa kanyang manlalaro at maibalik ang pusong palaban na tila ba nawala sa kanilang huling laro. Para naman kay coach Edgar, he wants to see five sets today where the San Beda Lady Red Spikers brings home the win. Because looking back at their recent win in a five-set match against San Sebastian, coach Edgar leaves a message to his players. Huwag nyo isipin na kachamba lang tayo, maging palaban lang kayo, at kakayanin natin manalo ngayon. Kaninong kagustuhan kaya ang masusunod ngayong hapon? Kaya ba, Anton and Cara, what's your fearless forecast for today? Oo oh, nga, Cara, what is your fearless forecast? Inunahan na kita. <laughs> Pag tinatanong niya, ayaw ko magsabi kasi usually, baliktad yung nangyayari eh. Pero syempre, alam naman natin dito sa volleyball, you've seen it countless times. Kahit na may favorites, pwedeng kabaliktaran talaga yung uh, maging result ng game. You know what, as we see that spike by Angel Apak on another point, I think Coach Edgar is thinking long term. Kaya niya sinabi na five sets is because, of course, he respects Coach Obed Javier oh, and Arellano. And the longer 
the length of the matches of his young players, the more experience they can gather. Oh yes, oh, oh. sabi nga natin, di ba? Daming new players, it's a new system, and baka to them, mas decent sila, eh, di ba? So they learn from more playing time. On the other hand, naman, itong Arellano, syempre, they want it quick, they want it fast, they wanna... They want to get back on the winning column. Wow, Habakon breaks down the wall again. And also, si Coach Obet Javier, sana yan sa mga short matches eh. Oh, yes. Especially during his title runs with his previous Lady Chiefs. Oh, and uh, I'm sure dahil sa experience ni Coach, he knows uh, how to get it done. Yung, diba, I'm sure yung training nitong uh, Lady Chiefs was naging intense pa in the past few days. Now, I will really say na back to 100% na si Dodi Batindaan. She had a scary fall in the match against Mapua. And then she got it out. Very first play of the set, she got injured. Yeah. And then later on, tinapos pa niya yung laro. So, she sat out. Nakita natin, Kara, nakabalot pa yung oh, kaliwang tuhod niya. Heavily bandaged yes. me right there. And iba-iba uh, yung puso ni Dodi. And nakikita na nga natin dito, walang, walang ano eh, confident siya sa steps niya, sa talon niya, hindi niya iniisip itong uh, injury niya. At may nakareserva pa na Laika Tudlasan on the bench. But of course, we know that Laika missed the first match because of a lower back injury. So Coach Obet is slowly reincorporating her back into the rotation. Bombing. Bombing. And the Arellano faithful loves it when Padillon goes up for the spike. Padillon there enjoying that as well. So far, lahat ng uh, players ng Arellano contributing. Paranehas. Alam niya nung pagka tina niya ng bola na that, that was going wide. Nag-sorry na lang siya kay coach. Now it's Angel Habakon. Habakon with that jump serve. And I think that's it. Right yes, it's on the line. Angel Habakon is piling up the points early here, Kara. What a game so far. And we're only... And ang aga pa sa set. And grabe yung... Nahikita nga natin how much she's enjoying this. Parang birthday araw-araw ni Angel eh. Oh! Yun, may konting pa birthday. Pero may regalo siya. Sa Lady Chiefs for that one. Twelve to eleven. This is Momik Padillon. Molina stands there, set. Padillon was there. Paralejas delivers it to Magaling. That's Momik Padillon. Sanbeda claiming that uh, there's no check, but our first referee was right in front of that hit. <laughs> So Maui Magaling, give her the point to tie things up at 12. Padillon. Abraham. Pakidaan. Dodi Padindaan. Dodi Padindaan with a quick hit. Ano lang siya, no? Poker face, chill, but very efficient. Ganyan lang yung demeanor niya, pero yan ang pinakapalaban dyan sa Arellano. <laughs> si Dodi Batindaan. Molina, back set. Abraham. Oh, Angel. Saving that ball. And Batindaan nearly gets another point. Habakon from the back row. Back set. And Pau de Guzman gets another point for Arellano. You see here, Paralejas giving it to de Guzman, allowing for a separation in that block. 14, 12. It is a 7-2 run now. 
for the Lady Chiefs. Molina. Blockers were there. Molina, back set. The Guzman will keep the ball in play. Free ball for San Beda. Kavikla was there. Paraleja sends it back to the San Beda side. A backward. Tuloy pa rin ang rally. But in bad. The Guzman could not get it over. That was too low for the Guzman. But the... Both teams showing such great defense. Ang ganda ng rallies natin. Unfortunate uh, attack error there. And, uh, she was trying to go cross, pero it was just too low. It's the error of battle. Navarro. Paranejas. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! What a delivery! <laughs> Great one hand set from uh, Paralejas. Medyo dikit sa net, pero nagawa niyo ng paraan. And uh, Batindaan really emphasizing na I want this point. Molina tossing it up. Oh, good save by Padinion. Pwede pa to. Paralejas tees it up for a moment. Paralejas, Padinion. San Vera refusing to let the ball touch the floor. Sayang. Sayang. The defense was there, pero hindi lang makatawid ng bola. Good attention by Matawaran, just a difficult angle. It's Klein Abraham, Sibel. Klein Abraham. Matawaran. Puts Arellano ahead by two. We'll take a break back with more right here on GTV. Second second old time off is set number one. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elri. She is the lifeblood of the Arellano offense, the one who makes things happen, the chief playmaker, Donna Paralejas. Donna Paralejas really setting the tone for this set so far. Nakikita naman natin sa mga sets niya, talagang um, tiwala siya sa lahat ng players niya. She's really distributing the ball well. Nakikita naman natin na last game, despite you know losing that, she had 14 excellent sets and even had two spikes and two aces. Right now, Paralejas is ranked number three in setting here in NCAA Season 99, behind Venice Puzon and Natalie Estrelier as we see this emphatic kill by Kagalawan. Gusto ko yung reactions nila eh, after every spike. Yan yung gusto natin eh, di ba? Sa start pa lang ng match, pero hyped up na hyped up na yung players natin. That's that old school swag from back in the days. <laughs> Paralejas, Matawaran. Balik ang bola agad dito sa Arellano. Magkali! Mawi Magkali! Grabe yung, uh, yung height na itong Arellano. No? Talagang they're really tall and nakita nga dito si Magaling. Ano rin siya eh. Like, chill lang. Chill lang siya sa ere. Chill lang after that point. Molina. Goes to Habakon. Drop ball. Picked up by De Guzman. Padillon. Habakon. Oh, pancake! Dona Paralejas cooking up a pancake there for Arellano. Tagitla, same set. Wow! Dona Paralejas with an amazing play! I 
think that whole sequence will give it to Donna Parelli. Yeah. <laughs> she saved this point for Arellano. So you see here, a good pancake save. That is surely going to appear on our awesome place, Donalyn Paralejas. Flying without wings, Angel Habakon. 25 points as a rookie is a big deal. Oh, yes. And uh, yung, yung swagger niya, yung confidence niya inside the court. Hindi siya mukhang rookie. Hindi, parang hindi rookie naglalaro. As we see here, 25 points in that last game against San Sebastian. And today, ilan kaya <laughs> maririnig natin from uh, Angel Habakon. Nakarami na siya dito sa first set. Oh, uh, check ball. <laughs> Take a look at it right here. This is a good angle to see. Substitution. Yep. Ayun. Yep. Yep. Hitting the hands of De La Cruz as De Guzman and uh, no one from the red shirts to get that. So, Coach Edgar Baroga switching things up. Espina is now the setter. Off the ball, Asian Paco. This is our rookie setter, Gina Espina. Espina giving it again to Angel Habacon, who saw the smaller blocker in Paralejas there. So Molina still on the floor, back to being a spiker. Oh, single block by Habacon. Oh, Habacon just doing everything right now for San Beda. And uh, kanina pa nakakapuntos tong si Matawaran sa running, but Angel Habakon was ready for that one. 17-7-19. Oh. Oh, my. Oh. That's three straight points given up by Arellano. <laughs> Coach Obet. Oh, Frustrated about that call. Siyempre, humahabol yung San Beda and uh, they don't need this right now. Jay De La Cruz. Paralejas. Padillon! Stops the bleeding. An emphatic down the line hit from Padillon. As you see here, Kahit double block, napalusot ni Padillon down the line. And no one there. And service specialist. It's and beach volleyball player, Harem Ceballos, comes in for this crucial rally. Oh. And that's why she is the service specialist. Yes, proving that she is the perfect person at this moment. See how sharp that was? It's Puts the lead of Arellano back up to three. Ceballos changing her target. Molina easy over for the Arellano side. Padillon! Oh, wasn't able to hit that ball properly. But in that, also was not able to get proper contact. Habakon. Puede pato. Good coverage. Paralejas to Batinda and Sanbera keeps it alive. A back on. Paralejas takes matters into her own hands. Espina to Habakon. Oh, Angel Habakon with the roar. <laughs> Ten points in the match for Get the high flying me. rookie from Bislik City, Surigao del Sur. Angel Habakon. First set pa lang, Angel. <laughs> Easy lang. <laughs> Easy yan mo lang. 
Pero hindi, kailangan niya gumawa. Oo, kailangan. <laughs> Paralejas. Difficult angle, but Paralejas and Batindan making it look easy. Yung connection talaga ni Donna Paralejas with Batindan. Kanina pa yan, na nakakapuntos, nakakalusot itong si Dodi Batindan. Grabe yung kumpiyansa nila sa isa't isa. Even uh, if the, that uh, receive wasn't that near the net. Molina. Good read by Ceballos, avoiding the ball. And now Coach Edgar Baroga calls a timeout. Angel din pala nag-lead ng cheer nila. Oh, vocal leader din pala tong rookie na to. And uh, kahit na medyo yung, yung si coach, medyo ano lang, malumanay. Yeah. Si Angel talagang roar. Roar ka agad. <laughs> Sayang din eh. Ume-effort sila eh in this set. Oh yes. And uh, na-recognize naman ni Coach Ed na kaya nila lumaban. Molina, hustling. Oh! Oh. San Beda being rattled right now. I think that we feel the delay of pressure dahil malapit na ang Arellano sa set point. Paralejas. And the Navy Chiefs at set point. Habakon. The Guzman keeps it alive. Padinion popped up from the back row. Hapakon picked up by Ceballos. The Guzman cross court. One hand dig by Molina. Hapakon. Ceballos, good coverage. Fucking God! Puts it away! The captain taking things into her own hands, ending the set for. Uh, the Arellano Lady Chiefs. Grabe talaga yung connection ni Donna and Dodi today. That's a connection as solid as Haikyuu's <laughs> Kageyama and Hinata. <laughs> On the same page and in sync. Setter to middle. 25-19, Arellano takes the, the opening set.